2013 was the worst fire season on state protected lands in Oregon in more than 60 years. It was the continuation of an alarming trend towards larger, more severe, more expensive forest fires. Severe fires have many costs. Firefighting is only one. There is also destroyed timber. There are health effects from smoke and wildfire damages homes, farms, watersheds, and municipal water supplies. So how do we reverse the trends? The path forward depends on where we are in the state. In the moist forest west of the Cascades, Oregon will have to continue to make sure its firefighting force is up to the task. From well-trained personnel and adequate equipment to effective high-tech methods of communication and fire detection. Public education about wildfire prevention is also highly important. Firefighting and prevention are critical in dry forests too. But here we have another tool. Projects that combine local collaboration with active forest management are underway to restore forest health and fire resiliency. What we've really begun to understand in the last couple decades is fire has an important role in the ecosystem and our forest management needs to take that into account in the type of management practices we implement. But most agree the pace and scale of that work has to be accelerated to reduce the risk of large, uncharacteristic fires.